we know that uh, there are lots of problems. We don't know how our future will be, but we also want to live uh, our youth. Education was down to nothing, health down to nothing, uh, secu security, safety, nothing. Everything is down to nothing. Γράφω άρθρα για αυτό το πράγμα, μιλάω σε συνεδέψεις τηλεοπτικές για αυτό το πράγμα και ακόμα δεν έχω πάρει απάντηση. Γιατί πρέπει ο λαός να πληρώσει τα σπασμένα μιας κρίσης την οποία ο ίδιος δεν δημιουργήσε. 300 billion euros borrowed. One in four people unemployed. An uncertain future for the people of Greece. Is the sun setting on Greece once and for all? Or is it the dawn of a new tomorrow? The Acropolis, a symbol of the vibrant history and culture brought to us by the ancient Greeks. However, the country which has brought the world modern medicine, philosophy and democracy is now facing the biggest crisis in its history. We're going to explore not just what went wrong, but how the ordinary people just like us are dealing with the biggest economic struggle of their lives. From simply walking through the streets of Athens, it's clear to see the influence the crisis has had on the city. Shops are closed down, graffiti is widespread, and the poverty is evident. This is clearly not a problem that arose overnight. Greece's troubles with its debt have been ongoing for more than 20 years. Despite the 4% growth the country saw after hosting the 2004 Olympic Games, the rise was short-lived, as by 2009, the country was officially in recession. So how did this economic decline come about? Well, not only was the entire world facing a financial crisis, resulting in tightening of credit conditions, Athens was failing to address a growing budget deficit. Overspending and tax evasion has finally brought the nation to its knees. To find out more about Greece's situation, I went to speak to government MP Adonis Georgiadis to get his view on the matter. He seemed very optimistic about the future of the state. See, now we're in a, a much better position than we were one year before. One year before, the only thing you should see in front of you was black. Now you can see the light. Why? Because we managed, and this was not easy, to stabilize our um, public uh, uh, finance economy. Now our deficit is much less than we thought it would be. The income of taxes are good. They're not so less as we thought and we were afraid. The expenses of our country are very, very low. So for the first time, the figures of our state are much better than we thought it would be at that period of time. What Mr. Georgiadis was telling me wasn't what I'd already seen on the streets of Athens. It seemed the problem was far worse than what he had just described. Three bailout packages have been agreed to so far, resulting in an overall borrowing of over 300 billion euros. Tax increases, job losses and cuts to the healthcare and pension systems are just some of the areas affected. These decisions, which many of the Greek people strongly oppose, lead to regular protests. These mostly peaceful protests are supported by the opposition, especially the left-wing parties. Menolis Glezos is a 91-year-old politician with the Syriza party and an iconic figure of the left. Έκοψαν μισθού συντάξει κτλ. Και, και βρήκανε λεφτά και έδωσαν στο τραπεζικό κεφαλαίο. Πόσα το έχουν δώσει ω τώρα, 
180 δισεκατομμύρια ευρώ. Δηλαδή τα πήραν από το λαό και τα έδωσαν στο χρηματοπιστωτικό κεφαλό. 180 δισεκατομμύρια ευρώ. Επιμένω στη Βουλή για αυτό το πράγμα, επιμένω δημόσιο σε αυτό το πράγμα, γράφω άρθρα για αυτό το πράγμα και ακόμα δεν έχω πάρει απάντηση. Γιατί πρέπει ο λαό να πληρώσει τα σπασμένα μια κρίση την οποία ο ίδιο δεν δημιούργησε. Αυτό είναι το κύριο θέμα. But is there any other solution? Η Γερμανία μα οφείλει από τι επανορθώσει τι οποίε προσδιορίσε η 19η Διασυμμαχική Επιτροπή των Παρισίων το 1946 σε ένα συγκεκριμένο ποσό. Τελικά μα είπαν 7 δισεκατομμύρια 100 εκατομμύρια δολάρια αγοραστική αξία του 1938. Αυτό μετατρέπεται σε 108 δισεκατομμύρια ευρώ χωρίς τους τόκους. Εάν η Γερμανία δεν θελήσει να ακολουθήσουμε ένα δρόμο διαπραγματεύσεων, εμεί δεν πάμε να την πιάσουμε από το λαιμό, τότε πάμε στα δικαστήρια και σε ένα, σε ένα δεκαπενθήμερο έχουμε, τα έχουμε κερδίσει. Οφείλει να τα πληρώσει. It seems that what Mr. Glesel said matched more with the financial problems that I had initially heard about. The political world clearly has different ideas and solutions to the nation's problems. Problems that if solved incorrectly could ultimately affect the whole of Europe. Greece's economic demise has been covered extensively through the world's media. Almost every day there's reports and updates following the country's developments. But just how hard is it for a Greek journalist to report on a story so close to home? I'm here at ERT, one of Greece's leading broadcasters, to find out just what this crisis means to them. Ah, it's very difficult. Because you don't have to be able 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 to και οι ειδήσει που είναι μακριά σου. Οι ειδήσει αφορούν πλέον εσένα, τους δικούς σου, φίλους σου, συγγενείς σου. Ε, μαθαίναμε παλιότερα και διαχειριζόμασταν ανθρωπιστικές κρίσεις σε όλο τον κόσμο. Ποτέ δεν είχα σκεφτεί ότι θα αντιμετωπίζαμε ανθρωπιστική κρίση στην ίδια μας τη χώρα, εδώ στην Ελλάδα. Επηρεαζόμαστε. Η κρίση μας επηρεάζει και εμάς. Είναι πολλές φορές που αισθάνομαι ότι μπορεί και να λειτουργώ στρατευμένος δημοσιογράφος. Κάτι που δεν θέλω, θέλω να το αποφύγω, αλλά είναι γεγονότα, είναι συμβάντα που δεν μπορείς να το προσπαράσεις. What's been the most difficult package you've had to cover? Θα έλεγα ότι η πιο δύσκολη στιγμή ήταν τα ρεπορτάζ τα οποία και μεταδίδαμε για τα παιδιά που υπέφεραν από ασυτεία και έφταναν σε σημείο μέχρι και το να λιποθυμούν στα σχολεία τους από την πίνη. Listening to Nikki and Andriana, maybe you want to talk to a journalist who regularly reports from location and personally meets the people who have been most affected. So how is it for you to report on an economic crisis that's happening in your country? Actually, it's very difficult because the crisis involves all of us. It could be me, it could be you. I mean, you see people that used to have jobs, used to have uh, their own houses, cars, everything. They lose their jobs. They have families and they're left on the street. They have no support from uh, their family. and they're just left on the street, which is quite terrifying. The good thing is that uh, I've noticed that people are bonding now because of the crisis. Uh, people that don't have much money, they actually try and help other people that are in need. That's amazing. Almost 20% of the population is now living below the poverty line, increasing the number of people who are unable to pay off their debts it's estimated that the banks are owed around 75 billion euros. Lila Linardatu is a lawyer at Ekpizo, a non-governmental, non-profit association that helps people settle the cases and have part of their debt written off. 
Η δράση μας είναι μακροχρόνια. Τα τελευταία βέβαια χρόνια, λόγω και της οικονομικής κρίσης, ασχολούμαστε με το πρόβλημα των υπερχρεωμένων οικοκυριών. Οι οικοκυριών που αυτή τη στιγμή αδυνατούν να εξυπηρετούν τις δόσεις τους σε δάνεια και κάρτες, με αποτέλεσμα να αντιμετωπίσουν σήμερα το κίνδυνο, να χάσουν την κατοικία τους και να μην μπορούν να ρυθμίσουν και να πληρώνουν τα χρέη τους. Ε, κάθε μέρα βλέπουμε πάρα πολλέ περιπτώσει, δύσκολε περιπτώσει. Ε, κάθε μία έχει τι ιδιαιτερότητέ τη. Ε, Σαφώ υπάρχουν και προβλήματα υγεία στην οικογένεια, ανεργία και των δύο συζύγων, ανήλικα τέκνα. Έχουμε περιπτώσει ανθρώπων που εξασφαλίζουν τη σύντησή του από δήμου ή από την εκκλησία. Υπάρχει σοβαρό πρόβλημα διαβίωση. Πόσο μάλλον ε, το να είναι κάποιο συνεπή και στι υποχρεώσει του προ τι τράπεζε. However, not everyone is able to settle their debts. Since 2009, over 120,000 homes have been repossessed, whilst homelessness has risen, with an estimate of 20,000 people now living on the streets, half of them in Athens. In the rundown area of Kipseli, people come and wait outside the church of Ayazoni early in the morning to receive their first and only meal of the day. From the elderly to the young, they're all waiting for some bean soup and a loaf of bread. It's not much, but this is what will get them through another day. The city of the city began in 1990 with about 30 or 40 meals every day. Today, the things have changed. Today, in Greece, the things are different. Especially because the Hellenists have now been able to έτσι λοιπόν το συσίτιό μας σήμερα έχει φτάσει σε 120 μερίδες φαγητό με τη μεγάλη πλειοψηφία όλων αυτών να είναι Έλληνες. Έλληνες, κυρίως άνεργοι, νέοι άνθρωποι που έχασαν τις δουλειές τους, ηλικιωμένοι και οικογένειες πολυτέκνων οι οποίες αδυνατούν να τα βγάλουν πέρα λόγω της οικονομικής κρίσης. This increase in poverty is a direct result of the harsh austerity measures brought in by the government With a combination of raised taxes and cuts to pensions and wages, people have less money to spend, which led to more than 90,000 businesses closing down in the last three years. Yanis Tsitoris has been operating his dry cleaning store for more than 20 years. Uh, this is a serious problem because, uh, especially in my job, uh, uh, nobody, I think, it's... Uh, ready to pay for a uh, trouser, to clean a trouser, uh, instead to buy something for his life. I cannot see uh, better days earlier of 10 years, about. I, I'm not an economical scientist, but uh, the numbers and the closed stores and uh, the 26, 25, percent of the unemployment uh, people uh, show me something like that. In order to avoid closing down, businesses are forced to cut jobs in order to minimize their expenses. It's estimated around 200,000 people were laid off since 2009. Irene Capsimalis, single mother of two, has been unemployed for nine months. Βέβαια είμαστε τυχεροί γιατί δεν μπήκε στο άρθρο 99. Έκανε ο ίδιος από μόνος του αίτηση πτώχευσης. Αλλά αυτή τη στιγμή με το επίδομα ενεργείας στο οποίο έχει φτάσει για μένα που έχω τα δύο παιδιά που δικαιολογεί κάτι επιπλέον είναι 430 ευρώ. Δεν φτάνει με τίποτα. Μόνο τους λογαριασμούς και την εφορία να πληρώνεις δεν μένει τίποτα για φαγητό. Δεν θα, πα, δεν θα ψωνίσω κρέα, α πούμε, μία φορά την εβδομάδα. Θα πάρω μία φορά στι 15 ή μία φορά το μήνα. Ε, πετρέλαιο, ε, είμαι τυχερή σε αυτό γιατί η μαμά μου πήρε λίγο φέτο έτσι για να ζεσταθούμε, αλλά όχι πάνω από 300 λίτρα, που σημαίνει 380 ευρώ. Τώρα κοντεύει να σωθεί, δεν ξέρω τι θα κάνουμε. Not being able to afford oil for heating isn't only affecting Irene. It seems more and more people are resorting to alternative methods in order to heat their homes. The most Hellenes are and a Because they can't pay for the petrol and to heat their homes. So I have all these things that I have in the corner of the corner. It's a cold, 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 c
που δεν τα έχουμε και έχουμε κάποια ζεστασά. If people can't afford heating, what does the future hold? Yana Skandalis is one of four generations living under the same roof. She shared her concerns with me about her granddaughter and the future for young people. I hope that by the time she grows up, things will have changed. And uh, maybe there'll be hope for her. She's 11 years old. She's still in primary school. Um, it's, the future is so uncertain. You pay taxes and you, you expect that they reciprocate, right? You get something back. We don't get anything. Education, well, down to nothing. Health, down to nothing. Uh, secu security, safety, nothing. The, everything is down to nothing. So what am I paying for? We Greeks were extroverted people. We were happy people. We were optimists. And all of a sudden, we fell into a natural depression. It's, it, this is true, a natural depression. We lost our dream. We lost it, and especially for the young people. And this is what really makes me sad. The young people don't have a dream anymore. Nowadays, instead of going out as they used to, students and young people gather in their homes to save as much as they can. A night out in a bar is replaced by a quiet night in with a few drinks and a board game. This group of friends invited me to join them for an evening. We know that uh, there are lots of problems. We don't know how our future will be, but we also want to live uh, our youth and uh, live happily these years. Uh, we'll always know we'll have to struggle on this uh, crisis, uh, but there's a, a, a bit of hope uh, in our mind. That well, will be best years. I should believe that if we stay together, we can overcome this. And what does this word mean? Uh, this word means stress. Okay. Uh, because I think that the majority of us Greek people are stressed. We don't know what our future will be, okay. you know. What this group of friends was telling me reflected what 20-year-old Katerina told me earlier the same day. It's really bad, actually. Um, I'm struggling. I can hear my mom's problems every day, and it's really hard for me. I'm depressed all the time. I mean, I'm studying business administration, and it's uh, something that I know that I won't find a job easy. Easily. It's not only this generation that lives in uncertainty. Parents across the country are finding it more and more difficult to afford to raise their children. The Smile of the Child, Greece's biggest voluntary organisation for children, has been operating for 17 years. After almost facing closure due to its own financial problems, it's still helping families across the country. Ε, μεγαλύτερο ποσοστό αύξηση παρουσιάζεται σε αυτήν ακριβώ τη δράση που είναι τα κέντρα στήριξη οικογενειών που αντιμετωπίζουν προβλήματα διαβίωση. Το πρώτο εξάμεινο του 2012 ε, ζήτησαν τη βοήθειά μα στην υποστήριξή μα 550 οικογένειε περισσότερε από ότι το αντίστοιχο διάστημα του 2011. Και τα παιδιά τα οποία ενισχύθηκαν ήταν κατά 1280 περισσότερα από το 2011. Αυτό δείχνει ουσιαστικά ότι και υπάρχει τεράστιο πρόβλημα οικονομικό στις οικογένειες που ζουν στη χώρα μας και από την άλλη αυτό που έχει παρατηρηθεί είναι ότι έχει αλλάξει το προφίλ αυτών των οικογενειών. Δεν είναι οικογένειες όπως ήταν κάποτε που αντιμετώπιζαν προβλήματα διαβίωσης για αρκετά χρόνια, αλλά αντίθετα είναι οικογένειες που μπορεί ακόμη και να εργάζεται ο ένας από τους δύο γονείς, αλλά ο άλλος να έχει χάσει τη δουλειά του ή να έχει υποστεί σοβαρές μειώσεις στο μισθό του ένας γονιός και να καταφέρουν να ανταπεξέλθουν στις ανάγκες των παιδιών τους. This is not the only charity that helps children and families in need. The Elefsina Love Center is another example of how people are coming together in such a crisis. I spoke to George Piranakis, who explained to me how they help 80 children every day. This charity started in 1964 by my grandfather, who was a priest. He started this charity in order to support the children of Elefsina. 
to have noticed a lot of differences. Uh, mostly the economical situation of the people around here became worse. Generally, we didn't have only immigrants here, we had also Greeks. But in the last few years, the Greek uh, people that are coming for help uh, are more. The day begins after school uh, when children come here to have their lunch. After their lunch, we have volunteer teachers that are helping them with uh, their homework and also with some foreign languages. Now, with a few weeks that have started also giving English lessons. Then giving them stuff for their home, food, or maybe blankets, clothes. And at six o'clock, they are leaving this place. Our funding comes from people, not from the state. So since people don't have enough money, we do not receive enough money. But we still manage. Our efforts became uh, more and more, so for the moment we are still having the enough funds to continue our job. George's charity is creating an essential lifeline for those who are suffering the hardest in Elefsina. Through all the bad times, it is comforting to see organisations like this helping people across the country. As my trip comes to an end, I reflect on what I've seen, the people I've met and the troubles I've witnessed. It could be said that the future of Greece is looking very much like a tragedy. Bailout packages and austerity measures brought in by the government are crippling much of the nation. However, the Greeks are once again bonding, just like their history has taught them. As Greek philosopher Epicurus once said, the greater the difficulty, the more the glory in surmounting it. The solidarity and the care they show one another makes them stronger. So is this economic crisis really a tragedy? Or is it more of an odyssey? A long and brutal journey, but with a ray of light at the end? Well, one thing is certain. Athens is telling a tale like no other. Mm -hmm.